Good morning students. Uh, today we are going to deal with the second lesson of our textbook. The first flight. The second lesson, Nelson Mandela. This lesson is an extract taken from the autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom. Now, Nelson Mandela is a famous legendary figure, world figure, a great statesman and most importantly, a great social reformer who fought against the evil political system in South Africa. Dear student, it reminds me the great fight of the social Indian reformers like the architect of Indian institution, Bharat Ratna Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, who also fought against many evil systems in India. Similarly, Nelson Mandela also fought against many evil systems, political evil system in South Africa. Now, uh, this lesson also deals with socio-political situation in South Africa. In South Africa, for a long period of almost 300 years, there was worst political system called apartheid. Now, what was this system actually? This system separated people of South Africa according to their race. In short, for white people in South Africa, there were different rules, whereas for black people, they were deprived to live like the human beings. The white people in South Africa could enjoy all sort of facilities, all sort of luxuries, but the same things were not allowed for black people. The black people in South Africa were tortured by white people and they were treated in a worse manner even than animals in South Africa. And that is why the great social reformer like Nelson Mandela and his team fought against this evil political system, the worst political system. Even Mr. Mandela calls it that it was an extraordinary human disaster which remained in South Africa for three centuries. And dear student, we must remember one thing that uh, Nelson Mandela is one of the three non-Indian great uh, figures who is the recipient of the highest Indian uh, civilian award, Bharat Ratna. He is the recipient of Bharat Ratna. So this story tells us the great sacrifice, the great fight of Nelson Mandela and the like-minded people in South Africa who fought against this extraordinary human disaster. The black people were not allowed to live like even human beings. They were deprived of many facilities. As I said, there was discrimination Different rules were there for white people and different rules were there for black people. The black people, it was the question of their survival. And that is why Mr. Mandela fought against this most extraordinary human disaster, the worst political system, which is a stigma on the uh, world history or we can say in the history of South Africa. And finally, when Nelson Mandela uh, could successfully get the political emancipation. Now, emancipation means freedom. So when they got the political emancipation from the apartheid, then ultimately uh, the lesson deals with the great inauguration ceremony. But before that, the students, let me tell you that what was the uh, impact of apartheid on world politics. As a result of this worst, worst system, worst political system called apartheid, the entire world had literally broken the diplomatic bonds, the diplomatic relationship with South Africa and there was literally boycott on South Africa only because of the worst system uh, of apartheid. And who were responsible for this worst system? Of course, uh, the group of white people who were doing the great operations and who were doing the great torture on black people. And as a result of that, the entire world had broken the relationship, diplomatic relationship. But finally, when because of the great person like Nelson Mandela and his team, when finally this apartheid was eradicated 
from South African politics. Then on 10th May 1994, it was a golden moment in the history of South Africa because it was the day of uh, inauguration. Now, when I mention here the word inauguration on 10th May 1994 in South Africa. Now, what is the meaning of inauguration? Here, inauguration means the oath taking ceremony of the new democratic and most important non racial government in South Africa. Yes, dear students, it was the golden day in the history of South Africa because after a great sacrifice, after great hardships, after great devotion, Nelson Mandela, uh, his party, ANC, that is African National Congress, got a clear verdict in the uh, free and fair elections and on 10th May 1994 Nelson Mandela became the first black president in the history of South Africa of the newly elected democratic non-racial government. So this inauguration means we can say that it was the beginning of a new era in the history of the uh, South African soil and for this great ceremony Earlier, as I told you, that the entire world had broken the diplomatic relationships with South Africa. But when the worst system like apartheid was eradicated, again, those diplomatic bonds, diplomatic relationship was restored. And as a result of that, on 10th May 1994, Nelson Mandela was besieged. He was surrounded by the great dignitaries, the leaders, presidents and prime ministers of 140 countries all over the world who came to witness this lovely ceremony and their presence had a great symbolic significance that they were fully supporting the democratic non-racial government when Mr. Mandela was going to uh, take the oath as the first black president and their presence itself indicated that they protested and they condemned the worst political system called apartheid. Now where this uh, inauguration ceremony took place? This inauguration ceremony, dear students, took place in the union buildings uh, of Pretoria. There was an amphitheater. What is amphitheater? Amphitheater is an outdoor stadium or outdoor theater which was the seat of white supremacy. There was a monopoly of white people for almost three centuries, 300 years. But today, because it was the beginning of new golden era, uh, the first black president of South Africa, Mr. Nelson Mandela, was going to take the oath and he was also accompanied by his daughter Zenani on that great day. And after taking oath, Nelson Mandela addressed the world leaders. And let me tell you that, dear students, it was a jubilant and spectacular ceremony in the Union Building uh, Amphitheater of Pretoria of the inauguration when Mr. Mandela took oath as the first black president of South Africa. And after taking oath, Nelson Mandela thanked the world leaders, thanked the world community for supporting uh, Mandela's fight against apartheid. And not only that, Mr. Nelson Mandela had also set the goals or ideals for the future of South Africa. And after that, in this jubilant and spectacular ceremony, more than one lakh men and women of South Africa danced together, sang together. Not only that, there was a spectacular array, spectacular display of the jets, helicopters and troop carriers of the military of South Africa. And it was the symbolic uh, a gesture of the military and police that they were truly loyal, completely loyal with the newly elected democratic non-racial government. Even the high generals, the great uh, officers of the air force and military and the police officers saluted Nelson Mandela in that ceremony and Mr. Mandela mentions that the very few years ago the same officers would have arrested me but today they saluted Nelson Mandela and after that two 
national anthems were sung on that day the white people sang their national anthem kosisikaleli africa and the black people sang their national anthem die stem again it was the symbolic gesture that um, it was purely democratic government and after that ceremony nelson mandela literally had a great you can say jubilant historic pride in his mind and tomorrow we will see uh, that what were the impacts of apartheid and what kind of hardships nelson mandela and his team had to suffer but that we are going to see tomorrow bye bye